Hey guys, welcome back. So we're gonna discuss a few of the key elements to understand an NLP, otherwise known as Neuro Linguistic Programming. It's a very, very high level psychology that's gonna allow you to be able to control the outcome of a conversation to whatever desired outcome you're trying to turn that opportunity. So we're gonna go over a few of the key elements that we use on a regular basis inside of our call so you can then better understand how you can apply these in your selling process to be able to create that desired outcome. So let's start with number one. And I wanna tell you a story actually with number one. It's known as disassociation. So disassociation is whenever you're in the meeting, you're able to basically take, your, take yourself away from yourself as if you were hovering over your body to be able to take yourself out of that nervous feeling or whatever that feeling is that you're experiencing in the actual sale. Um, whenever, whether you be doing it virtually over the phone or whether you do in person. So the story I want to tell you is if you look down at the bottom uh, of this program, we're going to see live closes of Temple and I. Um, the one that we close for $3,500 a month on a contract in person, you're going to notice I have a glass of water there on the table. And that glass of water, you're going to notice as we sit down, now I can do this when I stand up and I'm able to drink it, or maybe it's a bottle of water. But when I sit down, what you're going to notice is that I sometimes put my hand on the glass or my hand on the bottle and I don't actually pick it up. And the reason for that is it gives me a sense of comfort to touch the glass, but I can't pick it up because I shake, right? So I actually also get nervous in the sale, even though I'm, I'm very confident in how to execute the selling process and the closing process, similar to how whenever you see um, Tony Robbins talk about going on stage and always still being nervous going on stage, even though he's the highest paid speaker in the world, well, I guess, Technically, up till recently, Russell Brunson, whatever, depending on when you're seeing this program. But the point of the story is, you're gonna have these feelings that you go into the sale with, whether you're nervous, shy, anxious, afraid, scared, frustrated. There's a lot of different emotions you're gonna have. And being able to disassociate yourself with that feeling is going to make you a machine in the selling process. And let me give you an example of what that means. For me, Personally, I like to kind of envision myself above my own body, looking down at the expression that I'm projecting to the client. And I like to say to myself that I need to be confident. I need to be composed, right? Um, and what this is gonna do is that you're gonna be able to project that to your client or to your prospect or whomever you're talking to. And I like to picture myself looking down at myself and what that facial expression would look like and then I apply it to myself in the seat. This allows me to disassociate myself with all of these nervous feelings because I'm looking down at myself, almost able to control my own being, right? As if I were away from my own body. So being able to disassociate yourself and to, to be able to do that is gonna allow you to eliminate the nerves. Um, so let's go into number two. Uh, we're gonna talk about content reframing. Um, this is a uh, part of the reframing process that you'll, you know, we'll discuss in our Inception Selling System throughout this whole program. But being able to reframe content is being able to take any type of context that you are given. And uh, you'll notice actually Donald Trump do this a lot, right? But you're going to be given um, some type of phrase or objection or excuse or complaint, something from the prospect, okay? And you're only gonna do this in the sale, not on the cold call. Now there is always going to be a half full outlook to every half empty glass, all right? So what you're doing is you're taking their half empty glass and you're reframing whatever the thing is that they told you that, that positions that half empty glass and you're going to reframe it by rephrasing the question and you're going to turn that into a positive, a half full outlook. So this is content reframing where you're literally taking what the customer says, which is gonna be a half full glass and you're reframing their excuse, objection or complaint into a half full outlook. Okay, then making it positive. And after they hear your different angle to what they thought was an obstacle, they now realize, wow, okay, this is a major opportunity for me. Okay, so this is why content reframing comes into the mix and why it's so crucial to the NLP process. Next, we're gonna discuss what's referred to as anchoring. Now, there's a lot of different ways to do this process, but anchoring, in, in the term of its being within the neuro linguistic programming process, um, anchoring is gonna be able to um, relive basically a certain moment 
in your life and to be able to project that emotion. So a lot of actors will do this as well, but in the term of sales, as an example, let's say if I'm standing on the top of a cliff, right, and I just remember the smell of that mountain air and how fresh and pure and clean it was and looking down at the world and realizing everything is calm, okay? And I just remember like itching the back of my ear, right? So I could be in a meeting and uh, as I'm selling the prospect, and if I need to completely change my, my entire outlook on that meeting to be able to recompose myself, I could simply just be sitting here and just do this right here and then know in my mind that I've conditioned myself to remember what I felt like in that moment in time. So this way I could completely shift, right, um, the, the energy that I'm giving off to feel the way I felt standing on top of that cliff where everything was calm, cool, and collected. Um, the next that we're gonna dive into uh, is talking about influence and persuasion. Now, we discuss a lot of these components within our system here in the art of sales, but the inception selling system is composed of three of its own elements. And in the term of persuasion, you're going to use all three of those to take a primary belief and reframe it to a secondary belief, which is gonna be what we want the customer to understand. This is how we get them to buy in to the way that we position our opportunity because they then know that what we have to offer is actually exactly what they're looking for, okay? Because we are able to plant that into their conscious mind. Um, and that's how that works with the persuasion. So you're able to get them on your side through using that three-step system. Um, and I have one more that I actually want to cover with you guys. Um, and this is actually a pretty easy one. Uh, this is really just a rapport building exercise called mirroring. Uh, this is so, so, so important in the neurolinguistic process, especially if you're still meeting with people in person. Now, the reason why it's even more crucial in person is because you can see what their legs are doing. You can see up close um, the way their eyes look. You can see what their hands are doing. Uh, and the reason why this is important is because you want to mirror them. Anytime that you could literally mirror somebody identically in person, the way they sit, the tone of their voice, um, anything that they're doing with their eyes. If you notice that their arms are crossed, that means that they're not receptive to what you're saying. These types of body language um, receptors are going to let you know uh, that you should be doing exactly what they do to match their tone and, and to match where they're at uh, mentally at that current point in time. And when you do that and people see somebody like them, they then begin to trust you more because just like people buying from people that they like or people having friends that are like them, the selling process is the same. Anytime that they can see that you are like them, it's going to, again, drop their guard, lower the barrier of entry, and build a larger amount of trust in a shorter amount of time, then giving you the opportunity to move in again for the close. So these are five different elements to the Neuro Linguistic Process, NLP, that I want you guys to start applying into your selling system or into the way that you compose yourself in general, whether that be you trying to close the deal in something else in life or whether that be you trying to close the sale for your social media marketing agency. So put this into place. I'm really excited to hear the results from it and I'll see you guys in the next video.